Have you seen these moving things in this video? If not, I will make it slower so you can see. Did you find this interesting? Please tune in until the end of this video. This is a Bikin to Pets veterinary educational video sponsored by Topaya Vets. Veterinary medicine and surgery come alive to vet students and pet owners. This video is set up in Singapore. This video has graphic content. Viewer discretion is advised. Bloody diarrhea in Red Edge Slider. This 4-year-old Red Edge Slider came in last 6th of November 2019 with a complaint of having fresh blood in the stools for 2 days. The owner said that there are no changes in the diet, no renovations, and not even exposed to the rain. The owner suspected to have ingested the antifungal shampoo as it was treated with shell rot treatment before almost 3 weeks before it happened. This patient was hospitalized for monitoring and treatment. What are the possible causes of bloody diarrhea in red-eared slider? Changes in the diet, abdominal obstruction, parasites, bacterial infections, toxicity. As mentioned on the history, we can rule out the changes in the diet as one of the possible causes. For abdominal obstruction, this can be only seen through radiographic examination. Parasites are common in red ear slider like intestinal worms and protozoans. These parasites can be confirmed by microscopic examination of the feces. Bacterial infections often caused by improper or unhealthy conditions or sometimes it's a secondary to any illnesses. Toxins rarely cause them to get sick but still can happen if the patient ingested a large amount of toxins. Fecalysis were done and this is the result. The parasite seen was a flagellate, which is a common protozoan parasite in red-eared slider. Even though flagellates may not be pathogenic and may aid in the digestive system, they can easily reach pathogenic proportion in a captive environment. This parasite is easily spread by the animal drinking contaminated water and being kept in a poor hygienic conditions, as is often the case when the animal suffers the consequences of the pet trait. Protozoan infections can cause acute diarrhea, dehydration, and in chronic cases, the passing of undigested food because of the infection can contribute to the destruction of the normal intestinal flora. Permanent stains are recommended for the definitive diagnosis of this infection. In this red ear slider, it was hospitalized for treatment and observation. It was given broad spectrum antibiotics and antiprotozoan medications. After three days of hospitalization, this patient was sent home with a good appetite and no more bloody diarrhea. Still, the owner needs to continue the whole course of treatment. This case is uncommon here in Topaya Vets, but the parasites you've seen are common parasites in both wild-caught and captive-bred red-eared slider. In order to prevent these occurrences in your newly acquired red-eared slider or long-term pet, you should follow these steps. Number 1. Water Quality Turtle needs good clean water to prevent health issues from occurring. There are five important things to water quality, which are filtration, ammonia levels, pH levels, nitrates, and nitrites. Although red ear slider do not breathe through the skin or have gills, they still need the proper water quality to ensure good health and less parasites. Number two, feeding. You are what you eat. Ever hear that saying? Well, common parasites are more happy to make a cozy home in your red ear slider's digestive system. Make sure you feed your red ear slider safely. Number three, care. In general, keep your red ear slider in good condition. I hope you learned something through this video. If you find designs to your pet, please visit topiavets.com for more information. Thank you for watching.